MotionWorks Video Workshops presents Making It Look Great 5. Design, production, and workflow techniques for Adobe After Effects. We can see a lot of distortion going on. So let's just analyze what's going on here. Well, I obviously know what's going on here because I made it. Hosted by Multanon. Okay, sweet. This looks pretty good on its own, but we're going to make it look even better. Imagine that. And we want it to basically look like the blood is dripping. So to actually do that, we need to go to the transform and play with the offset. If we're going to move it down, this is what we're going to get. And this is actually pretty fun. Maybe let's change the threshold again. Okay, yes, that's it. That's it. See how it gets intensified in the text, but then it just fades out as the text is gone? Very, very nice. The trick here is to actually make this brush paint over our comb, and we want to use whatever it paints as an alpha mat. The most commonly used method is to simply take the pen tool and just draw a shape around our subject right and i don't know about you but i don't like additional work in my project so let's just get rid of this path and i'm going to show you a quicker way to do that now that's a pretty nice comp but that's not all would you believe if i told you that we can achieve the same effect without using any pre-comps and just by using standard presets work smart work fast look Great. Okay, this doesn't look so great, but that's because the particles are being blended in the additive mode and we don't want that. We want it to be in normal mode and oh yes. This form grid actually lights up according to rhythm of the sound file. So let me just show you how I did that. Make sure your work gets noticed. Making it look great 5. Available now.